and welcome to what is going to be a very short and dry installment of AA Computers and Technology. This is just a preview of things to come, but I picked up three of these Sun Microsystem Ultra 80 workstations slash servers um, from my college. I was walking back from my chemistry lab, I saw three of these on a trash cart, and I just couldn't help myself. I asked them if I could take them, and they said yes. Um, so I went ahead and loaded these up into my car. Trust me, um, it was not fun because each of them probably weighs about 40 pounds, 40 to 50 pounds, and they're really awkward to handle. Um, and I brought them back here. So we are going to take a look at these real quick. I actually need help from you guys because um, there are some things I just cannot figure out regarding these systems. I'm used to working with some servers. Um, in a couple other videos, we worked a lot with the IBM E server. Um, but these are a bit different. They're, they're throwing some curveballs at me. So I'm going to need uh, feedback from the viewers, you, because I have no idea what I'm doing here with these. So we will touch on all the weird stuff with these in just a second, but real quick, let's just take a very brief look at these because once again, I don't want to spoil anything. I am going to have a video coming up featuring these computers if we can get them up and running. They are all functional. I've tested every single one of these and they do power on and they do boot up into some sort of environment. Um, none of these have the hard drive built in. They they took the hard drives out. Um, they were all SCSI hard drives, of course. So once again, we're going to have to use something like Plop to boot from um, either a CD or maybe I'll throw in a uh, USB 2.0 card into this because it does have a couple free PCI slots. But interesting enough, for some reason on one of these, actually on two of these, these buttons are completely destroyed. And I think that's part of the reason why they're throwing these away. Um, and then obviously these are really old as well. I think these were manufactured sometime around 2000 to 2004, um, somewhere in between that time period. So it was definitely time to retire these things. But I, I mean, where, where's the third one? Well, I had the third one inside all opened up and we're going to take a look at it. Alright, and here is everything all opened up. And I'm sorry if it seems like I am trying to rush this video because I am trying to rush this video. It's currently uh, 8.30, actually 8.40, and I am leaving tomorrow at 7 a.m. And I really want to get this video out because I need help from you guys. I want to get all the information um, while I'm out on vacation. And then when I come back, I want to have it all here. I'm going to research some more about the system so I can actually have some real facts to give you guys instead of just blabbering on and on and ranting. Um, so yeah, once again, trying to get this video out before I leave tomorrow morning. But anyway, you can see the insides of the computer here. You can see this computer is equipped with four processors. Not sure how much RAM we have or what kind of RAM the system is using. I'll have to look it up. Uh, it does have a tag right here, so I can just punch that into Google probably. Four processors, each one running at 450 megahertz. I'm trying not to spoil too much. Uh, you can see the video card right there. Not using onboard graphics. It has a dedicated video card. And this video card is kind of funny, so we'll take that out. Um, when we do the actual overview but my number one predicament with this machine and by the way this machine does turn on where'd my pen go oops i just found it it was actually under the pc so i need a pen to turn the computer on because it has this safety mechanism right here um so it won't turn on while the cover is off which is kind of annoying but if i just pop down here ta-da everything comes to life and i'm not going to spoil too much so sorry guys you don't get to see all of it yet Right now, the number one issue that I have with the system is the fact that it's not equipped with any PS2 ports for a keyboard or a mouse, so I just can't interface with it. Uh, I can't access the BIOS or anything like that. I can't access setup, and it's really getting on my nerves uh, because I have no way to actually interact with this computer and use it. As you can see, it is equipped with three parallel ports, one, two, three, and then there's a SCSI port right here, and then there's a, oddly enough, there's a DIN8 port um, on this computer, which really you don't see that much, and I never use. Um, this will interface with a keyboard and mouse. I believe the original keyboard and mouse that came with the system used the DIN8, um, but unfortunately, I do not have anything compatible with that. So if any of you know how to hack this, um, to get it to work with uh, PS2 keyboard uh, or mouse, please send me a link or something like that. Maybe just write it out in the description um, because I was looking online. I wanted to see if I can just modify um, the pens or something like that, uh, but there was nothing. I came up completely dry on that, uh, and I was really frustrated. So at this point, I'm not really sure what to do about that. That's my main problem, uh, really holding me back from accessing the system. And then everything else, I think I can work out on my own. I just need some advice from you guys regarding that. 
guys, thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek. Once again, if you have any solutions to the problems I just talked about, you can go ahead and post a comment in the comment section. I would really, really, really appreciate it. And if I'm not able to get these things up and running, I'm just going to do a teardown video. So I'm going to take all three of these, see if they're all the same system, and I'm going to rip one of them apart. Well, not like rip one of them apart, but I'm going to take everything out, um, all these processors, all the RAM boards, and everything else, um, and we're just going to lay it all out there and see what's in this. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek once again. And I will see you in hopefully the next installment of AA Computers and Technology where we will be taking a look at this computer. Mm -hmm.